Hey there, welcome to the new moon reading for Sagittarius, which is going to be occurring on December 4th, and that can vary depending on where you're at in the world, but um, the main energy is going to be happening in the United States on December 4th. Um, I love this Moonology Oracle card deck, um, and here is the beautiful representation for the energy, and it says, luck is on your side, which is very Sagittarian. Um, the energy around this new moon in Sagittarius is about this restart of fun after experiencing a period of lowness. <laughs> so this is opening up this, you know, uh, period around this new moon um, for adventure. And that could mean travel, um, both in a physical world and a mental, emotional, spiritual. It's all about exploration. Um, it's also about widening our viewpoints on things. So it's an invitation to really laugh. You know, why are you so serious? You know, we're coming from this serious feeling and this new moon is just saying, now it's time to let joy in, to raise your vibration to one of peace and love and joy and unconditional love, of course. Um, a great thing that you can do during this time um, and we're going to be looking at the energies like the week before and the two weeks after this new moon. But during that time, you can actually kind of create this uh, gratitude journal, you know, literally count your blessings, look around you and maybe just do it for like 30 days or a week, however long you feel comfortable doing. Let me really look at something that you're grateful for and try to do it for as many days as you can without repeating anything during that. I did it once and I was at first intended to do it for 30 days. I ended up doing it for five months or so um, and I didn't repeat anything, you know, because it started off just I'm grateful that I can breathe, you know, and then the next day I'm grateful that, um, you know, I can walk with little pain, you know, and then it just each day, there's just so much it just expands, you know, from that, but it changes your whole attitude about life from one of, you know, focusing on what is missing in your life or what you don't want in your life to want to focus in your energy on what you do want and what you're grateful for in your life. And it just invites more and more and more into your life. So I encourage that if you feel that resonates with you. But we're going to jump into your specific reading um, for this new moon period right now. All right, all you Aries, this is your new moon and Sagittarius reading. And we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the Oracle of E. And I'm just going to see here what the creator would like you to know overall for this three week period, the being the week before the new moon, before uh, December 4th, and the two weeks after up to the next full moon. All right, creator, what would you like our Aries to know about that three week period of time, please? Okay, actually. Really drawn to that one right there for you. You've got from scratch. <laughs> and that is number six. Yep, number six. So we'll put this over here. And let's see what little brief message comes from that for you. Yeah, congratulations. You've got all the ingredients for every one of your dreams to come true. Everything is now within reach. What are you waiting for? It's not going to bake itself. Quit looking and start cooking. <laughs> so I like that. It's about action. And, and I love that with this new moon and Sagittarius energy. It is about this restart of fun after experiencing a low. Um, so now, you know, you preheated the oven and you're getting ready to allow that energy to unfold. Allow this, like we're talking about, not this feeling of lack to control your life. But look at what you're grateful for and what you want and move toward that. Um, we're going to wait and pull this at the end, but we're going to pull some cards here from the True Heart Intuitive Tarot and just see what the creator wants you to know. We're going to do um, three sets of cards. And we're going to do like the week before the new moon, uh, the week after, and then the second week after. Let me just give you an idea of what kind of energies the creator would like you to know what spirit wants you to know about first of all the week before this new moon 
What do you want them to know? All our Aries, okay. Okay, look, you have this one and this one here, so we'll put those like that. And then the week after the new moon. Okay. So you got like these and these, and then the second week after, please. Okay. All right, you just got one for that. So the big shebang after. So let's take a look at the week before the new moon. Perfect, you've got the Ace of Swords. Um, and the Ace of Swords really brings you this wonderful empowerment because um, it, first of all, it brings you capital T truths. It brings you those higher truths of your soul and spirit and allows you to see the difference between that and the supposed to's of the world. I really feel like because of this from scratch, this is allowing you to see beyond these dreams that were given to you that you took on as your own and they're really not yours. You know, you don't have, com you know, this passion about it. You know, you're like, okay, that's my dream. I guess I'm going to become, you know, um, you know, an accountant. Maybe someone wanted you to become an accountant or someone wanted you, you know, to pursue athletics or someone, the family business or whatever it might be. And you're like, you know what? That's not my dream. That's your dream. And you're realizing it with this capital T truth. The sword also empowers you because swords are about your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. It also allows you to cut away those thoughts and those beliefs that no longer serve you. So they served you for a time. They got you the experiences that you wanted. But this week before this new moon is allowing you to see what you're going to, um, what you're ready to let go of to make room for the new that's going to be coming with the new moon. So that is perfect for you. Yeah, and then you have the five of wands. And the five of wands, you can kind of see um, all those wands. It's usually um, called the conflict card. Um, and I love that with this. It's like these thoughts, you've been in conflict with them. But the five is also this transformational type of energy that comes with it. And I usually see like this... Um, kung fu movie that starts in my in my mind when the five of wands pops up because i you know the five wands you can see like five characters have them and they're all battling and hitting each other with those wands and eventually one overcomes the rest and the other four are just exhausted laying down and then he laughs and they help each other up and they're all buddy buddy um and at first you thought this was a battle like this was war this was like they were out to get each other but as you see the scene unfold further you see that they walk to the hall like the um eating hall of this little monastery and these were actually you know like buddhist monks that were um not trying to hurt each other but they were helping each other improve their skills to grow, um, you know, those skills. And so it transforms this, what felt like conflict you see was for you and for you to increase your skills um, and to move forward. And so I really feel like this inner conflict you had in your thoughts and your beliefs, you see like, okay, because there was conflict, it made me pay attention to it. And now you're transforming those thoughts. Um, as you let it, let those go that served, like that conflict and that um, battling, um, that training um, did its purpose, and now you're ready to move on to the next thing. Um, and this is going to be what we're looking at. So the week after the new moon, this new stuff that's triggering, beautiful. You've got the magician. You can see up here the infinity symbol. So this represents your infinite self and your ability um, to show you that you have everything you need to make your dreams come true, just like this from scratch card mentioned. You know, we've got the wands and the cups and the swords and the pentacles. They're all here showing that you have everything you need to make your dream come true. And I love that the magician shows up because, you know, they hold the, um, the wand to the heavens and the other hand is um, pointed to the ground and it's about bringing this purpose, this unconditional love of who you are and how you are going to uniquely share it with the world. So it's how you're bringing and spreading love in the world. And that's how you can understand what your dream is because you do have passion about it. That's what the wands, Ace of Wands does, is it sparks you and, and allows you to um, 
have this drive to do something and you have the passion behind it where the kind of the earthly um, dream that was given to you was based usually on fear or conditional love and, and you're, you might be asking yourself, well, I don't know what my dream is. I don't know what I really want to do because I live so much of my life um, based on what I was supposed to, you know. But this is about connecting to that unconditional love within you, understanding how you uniquely want to share that with the world, and then that is going to ignite the passion um, for you. Yeah, because here's the Nine of Cups. The Nine is all about internal, um, like independently you, um, feeling this. The cups are your emotions and the nine of cups is like you're filled up but she's in a garden by herself. She usually has her wi winged um, actually that's the nine of pentacles but the nine of cups is like this wish card um, and the nines are about that you find that within you without defining it by the outside world or having it impact the world. This is all about internal um, joy, internal um, emotional overflow and I love that because when you do fill up with that unconditional love from the other side you do you feel like your love is overflowing because it's not that conditional love from the outside world that has so many rules around it that it can be unstable at any moment it can fall away but when you find this unconditional love from the other world you know, that's the magic of this life. When it fills you up, you feel like anything is possible, which really comes into play, you know, with this. And I kind of feel like this six, when you switch it upside down, when you make that change, that's what becomes this nine for you. Let's see what else for the new moon for you. Okay. <laughs> So the Nine of Pentacles uh, I mentioned, again, another nine. This is you in the garden. Um, and they usually have a, a, a winged creature, um, which they do right here. There's a butterfly on the end of her finger there. And so that is representing spirit, but it also represents this transformation that you're going through where you're feeling this wholeness and completeness, not only in your emotions, but you feel like you have everything you need in the outside world too. And that definitely um, is in line with this magician. So these nine, these nines, is it's not about you feeling this wholeness and completeness from the outside world. It starts from within you, fills you up, and then overflows out to the outside world. So this beautiful realization of this wholeness. Yeah, you got nine, nine, and nine. You just can't make all this up. And the nine of swords. This one is known as the like insomnia card or the um, nightmare card. I mean, you can see here, I mean, this is all these thoughts, all these um, swords, which are, you know, we talked about with this ace of swords, all your thoughts, beliefs, your mindsets, expectations. Um, it is what is making your mind, you know, literally hurt. You feel like your, your brain is being used as a, a voodoo doll. You have all these thoughts and these beliefs and these expectations that you feel you need to um, meet in order to be whole and complete, in order to feel emotionally whole, to feel like you have what you need. But the beautiful card with, you know, with all these being nines, just crazy, that this is... Um, you releasing and realizing these things that no longer serve you. All these expectations that were holding you back, that were keeping you up at night, that were stealing your joy, it's transforming um, because um, the Ten of Swords usually shows someone like face down in the, the dirt with all the swords in their back because literally those swords um, stabbed you in the back, they betrayed you, they disappointed you because they didn't give you that this feeling that um, you were told that they were supposed to, right? So you meet all these goals, meet all these dreams that you were given and all that, and you still feel empty. But this is a beautiful transformation because the 10 is you're ready for that ending in that new beginning. So this nine of swords 
really is telling you you're like this close to transforming it. And with this magician here, it shows you you have everything you need to do that. And then this is what a beautiful, joyful, I mean, look at how dark this is and how bright these are. It brings you emotional fulfillment. It brings you physical fulfillment as well in both of those realms. So I love that for week number uh, one after the new moon is bringing you this beautiful awareness, this beautiful transformation. And then the second week after you've got the three of discs which would, it's also called the Three of Pentacles. And this is a, a wonderful card for me. Um, in one of the decks, it actually shows like, this is you and you're creating, um, you know, like we talked about, um, expressing your unconditional love to the world. It's your creation. It's what you're bringing forward. Um, and in one card, um, they'll have like, they were facing, uh, one person was facing and one person was behind them. And the message that comes with this is that, um, of course, you're going to have people that will, it's the person that's behind them. And it, so it's the person that is like, um, we call them the, the, the dream busters, the bubble, you know, the bubble busters, the ones that, you know, you have this new exciting thing you want to do. And they're like, well, I don't know if you really want to do that. Are you really going to be able to survive off of that? And, and they're the ones that, you know, try to burst your bubbles. Um, and those are very obvious in our lives. And we're like, okay, those are the naysayers. And, you know, I'm not going to let that energy be within my scope and within what I want to do. So we're aware of that. And we're like, okay, we're just going to set you aside over here. But it's the people that are facing us, that are supporting us, that can influence even more than those naysayers because our human ego enjoys the validation enjoys the praise enjoys that support and so if someone's supporting us going you know that's great that you're doing that in your life and I'm so excited for you and blah 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 blah, blah we're like yeah thank you so much and then they just might say have you ever thought of like doing this too or doing this with it instead and um, and because we don't want to lose that support and have them join the naysayer group. We might adjust our dream. We might adjust what we're doing. And before we knew it, before we know it, we're kind of like off course, you know, um, the, the, you know, ups, pineapple upside down cake that we want to turn it into a chocolate pudding cake, you know, and we're like, well, that's not what I wanted, but okay. And so the card really, um, for me, brings through this message of be true to your authentic dream. Um, listen to what people have to say, but if it doesn't resonate with you, if it doesn't feel like, um, you know, aligning with what you are wanting, don't let these swords see, you know, sneak back in because you will feel that energy drain away and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm being drawn back into those old ways and you don't have to do that. And so this is definitely this reiteration, stay authentic to what you're wanting. And then lastly, we're going to pull a card here. These are everyday miracle cards, which are from the Course in Miracles. We're just going to see what the final message the creator has for this three week period for you. All right, creator for our Aries, what is your final message for them for this three week period about the new moon in Sagittarius? Okay, this is it for you. And this is, yep. Today belongs to love. Let me not fear. Yeah, belongs to love, right? Not to fears. I love that. And it says, if you knew who walks beside you, on the way that you have chosen, fear would be impossible. And that is beautiful. I'm going to still put it this way. But yeah, if you knew who walks beside you, you know, this beautiful butterfly represents spirit. You have a great support team right beside you. You have um, your guardian angels and your angels, your spirit guides, your loved ones who lived here and are on the other side you know, your ancestors, any of those beings of unconditional love and light that you believe are on the other side, they are supporting you. I mean, you've got the creator and the spirit of the creator, you know, two big support team on there, right? Um, and you have all those others too. And if you knew who walks beside you on your journey, then you know that you have, you know, no fears of that. 
So I am loving this for you around this new moon in Sagittarius. I'm going to let you know in addition to these readings, I also do like monthly readings by each zodiac sign, weekly updates by, um, you know, water signs, air signs, the, all the elements of the zodiac. Um, these new moon, full moon readings, a variety of other readings. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, if you haven't done so already, just make sure to click the subscribe button down below. And that's going to make this uh, notification bell pop up. And if you click on that, then you can set your notifications on how you want to receive those, uh, you know, when a new video comes out. So um, it's easy breezy. <laughs> all right. Also know as you're going through all this, you know, journey of life that every moment of every day, you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, and I love you too. So have an amazing, amazing new moon period here, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon, but until then, you take care.